when you go back and read the law, when you read Leviticus, and you read all the things that God spells out, that are especially the things that are worthy of the death penalty, all abominable sin, the Bible says, you know what, all the people of the land did all these things, and that's why the, the land is going to spew them out. So the Bible saying, God explains that those people had to go, not because the Jews or Israel was so much better than them, but they just had to go because God's judgment was coming upon them. Because they were living so wickedly and abominably and doing all these horrible things. And when you read through, I've, I've mentioned this many times in the past, but you read through Leviticus and sometimes you read laws from God going, why should that even need to be spelled out? Who in, like, who in the world would ever think to lay with a beast? Why would we have to spell that out? Well, you know why? Because people do. Because some people do and some people have. And those are the things that those nations that were in the land before God brought Israel into the land were doing those things. And the Bible says they were doing all of those things. So all of the wickedness, all of the abominable things, all of that stuff was being done prior to Israel being given that land. So God is kind of, you know, he's doing multiple things in his providence when he's bringing Israel into the promised land. One, he's keeping his promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Bringing them into the land that's promised to them. He's also bringing judgment in on wicked people. And God brings judgment on wicked nations all the time. And they, they, they come and they go all throughout history. God's bringing judgment against wicked people. So at that time, the Canaanites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, the Perizzites, you know, all these people are being judged by God. Well, when the children of Israel are going back into the land, no. It's, it's, it's a similar situation because those people are still there. God's will wasn't completely, per perfectly performed because they were supposed to wipe them all out. But the children of Israel failed because they, they made treaties with, one, you know, with some of them, with the Gibeonites. And then they did other things. You know, they, they just failed to drive them out of the land. And as a result, they were left in. But notice the problem with taking of the wives is that they were doing abominations. What happens when you, I mean, there's no closer union between people than getting married, right? I mean, you're, you're joining your house. You're, you're, you're making one family from two people. And if you've got one group of people that's just completely wicked and doing abominable things, and then other people who might be righteous, and you mix the two together, guess what's going to happen? There's going to be a lot more wickedness and abomination going on than there is going to be righteousness.